this is a video tutorial brought to you by GarrettsBridges.com on John Hopkins Bridge Designer web application. To begin, you click the Add Node button up in the top left corner here, and then you can click anywhere on the grid. I like to go on the uh, intersections of the squares, and I'm going to be designing a Warren truss. So the first thing you do is add all the nodes, which is just another name for joints. And once you do that, you can click the Add Members button to add members. And then you click on a node, hold down the left mouse button, and drag across to the next node. And you do that for each individual section. What you cannot do is hold and drag across a m multiple nodes that just will throw the f formula off and it will won't work for this particular application so you have to go to each one individually this is a, the part that can get slightly tedious but it really isn't that bad Once you have all the nodes and members in place, you can click the Calculate button down here near the bottom to make sure you've done everything correctly so far. And it's telling me at the top there must be one fixed and one roller node. That's a good thing for it to say. That means you have the correct number of members and nodes because this particular program requires a certain formula. So I'm going to go ahead and add a fixed node and a horizontal rolling node. And then I can add a load to the bridge. You can add a load to any node that you want. You can add multiple loads. I'm simply going to add a 100 pound load in the center. Once you add a load, you can click the calculate button one more time and then click anywhere on the grid and it will show you how the forces are spread out throughout the bridge. One important thing to remember is red represents tension and blue represents compression. And you can use this information to help you design and build your model bridge. 